So backhand is a very important skill in disc golf. Um, as the left hander, so when I use my backhand, the disc will come up and fly to the right. So I will use that backhand if I ever, if the pin is to the right side of where I'm throwing, or if I have like an obstacle on the left side that I want to avoid, I would use my backhand to throw it and it will fade itself to the right and be away from all the obstacles on the left hand side. So that's when you would, that's when you would use a backhand is when you want to make sure that you avoid um, obstacles on your left hand side because I'm left handed. So my disc, like I said, will go to the right. If I want to avoid things on my left, and also, if I want to get closer, if I want to go around an object, I would use that backhand to go around that object on the right-hand side to the pin or to open space where I can then set up my next shot to the pin, right? Because that's when you would use your backhand. You use your backhand to uh, maneuver around obstacles and get closer to the pin. Hey guys, uh, my name is my name is Wyatt Heist and today I'm going to teach you how to do backhand and disc golf. So before we even throw the disc, we have a few things we have to focus on. Number one is the grip. So when you grab your disc, right, you want the, you want the, uh, the face of the disc facing up. You want to grab your, you want to use your forefingers and your thumb. You want to use your forefingers underneath, underneath the brim and your thumb on top. Okay, so that's one. Two is you want to make sure we have a flat angle, right? We can, every time you throw, you want to try and make it as flat as a dinner plate. Uh, we can throw it on an angle like this. This is called a hyzer. And then we can throw on the opposite angle, which is called an anhyzer. Okay, but ideally, we want to throw it flat. Okay, so we got those two steps down. Now let's work on the feet work. So with the feet work, it's like it's an X step. So it's like a karaoke, but we're only doing one. So if I'm throwing to you guys, or I'm throwing through you, when I face you, what I'm going to do is with my right foot, I'm gonna step in front of my left foot and then use my left foot to step in front of my right foot, okay? So it's gonna look like this, right? Now I'm facing this way, now that this is gonna go that way. So let me go one, two, okay? That's gonna really help you, uh, allow me to use my hips to throw that disc uh, for distance, right? Okay, so let's go over the uh, steps until now. We have the grip, right? Four fingers with the thumb on top. You wanna make sure we throw flat with like a dinner plate. Three is we want to make sure we use our X step to get the most power. And the last step, oh, not the last step, the second to last step is we want to make sure we reach back with our disc. So wherever, whatever angle, whatever angle that we're throwing, we want to make sure that disc is in the opposite direction. Okay, so if I'm throwing in this direction, I want my disc to come out here first before I throw it through, uh, through the strike zone, okay? So when we reach back, what we want to do is we want to extend that elbow out. We want to keep that arm nice and long, okay? It's about um, stomach line. That's where you want to bring this back. You don't want to come high, you don't want to come too low. You want to come right where your belly button is, ideally. So what you're going to be doing now that it's back, you have to drive your disc through your, uh, through the, uh, through your waist and to the target. So what I like to do is I like to use my elbow to really force my hand through that strike zone so I can let go of my disc and have it fly, okay? So that reach back is that fourth, ten, fourth cue that I want to focus on. The last cue is the finish, right? Is when we, when we reach back and we start to throw, we want to make sure we snap our wrist at the end of it. Because when we snap the wrist, that's going to create spin on the disc. When we create spin on the disc, you're going to have more glide out there. You're going to have it more distance, okay? So. Let me, let me do it one more time. Okay, so grip is number one. Flat disc is number two. You wanna make sure we do an X step for number three. We wanna reach back for number four. And then we wanna snap our wrist for number five. Okay, so it's gonna look like this. X step, reach back, snap. There we go. So I did through maybe 75, 75%, and that was a pretty good distance. And that was all in the feet work, the rotation from my hips, and that snap of that wrist at the end of it for that follow through. So I hope this video helped you out in learning how to throw a proper backhand. 
and add power to your back end. Thanks, guys.